humid Monday, July 11th, 2016. Hello, welcome to Talking Fitchburg. Another week. And uh, as I look outside right now, you <laughs> you can just tell it's humid out there. Very humid. Yep. yep. It looks pretty intense. The the leaves are looking heavy. Is what I would describe them as. So they're, all, they're all doing this like you got like a haze out there, thing. you know. Yeah, it looks thick. The air looks thick. I don't enjoy it, but you know. I wasn't even gonna bring that up that you don't enjoy this. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the weather doesn't exist to please me. I accept that. Uh, yeah, you'd be all in trouble if that was. Oh, it would be a opposite. glorious time. It would be a glorious day if the weather was built just for me. You we seem like somebody may good. needs to move to Alaska or something. It would be a glorious mm. day. Yeah. yeah, see, Andrew knows. Uh, Alaska is, you know, it's a beautiful place. I wouldn't mind living there. Seems great. <laughs> yeah, there's whales. There's bears. I'm there's thinking weather wise. Oh, there's snow. There's it's snow. Dark. There's snow covered <laughs> peaks. I think so, it's yeah. just right up your right up your alley. It is. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, well, uh, we will talk about the weather here today, uh, along with uh, got your Verona Road update in the Fitchburg Digest today, and our guest. Uh, we had uh, Preston went out. Did you get birthday cake? Oh, I had some birthday cake. I did. Yeah, we, uh, we had the old uh, splash pad uh, opening this weekend, so we'll uh, pre or uh, not preview we'll it, recap. we recap it. So, and then of course your holidays to wrap things up today. Uh, we have so many guests this week; mm. it's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, so fun uh, week. <laughs> stay tuned this week on Friday. We were Andrew and I went. We did four different interviews you guys on Friday. Were bebopping and we're scatting all over, all over the town. Bebopping and scatting. Just right on down the street. Uh, yep. Yep. We saw all of Fitchburg on Friday. Very good. That's we all did. I can say. We saw we all of it. So <laughs> we'll bring you all of those stories because it's a busy weekend coming up. Yeah. So oh that's boy. why we Is wanna, it ever? Yeah. Is it ever? So, uh, but with that, we you need to get to uh, our headlines this morning, and we start off with that uh, humidity out there. Whoo, it's warm. Whoo, doggy. Whoo, doggy. Uh, warmer air will surge into the area Monday, pushing high temperatures into the mid 80s to around 90. Whoo, look at that. 86 to 90. Humid. Gotta love that humidity. Humidity levels will also be quite, uh, be <laughs> it's just going to be a lot. Dew points yep. uh, climbing around 70. That means heat index in the mid 90s in many areas of south central Wisconsin. A cold front will approach in the area later on Tuesday, which will bring an increased chance for thunderstorms. Yeah. Sounds like it's time to fire up the old air conditioner. Yeah. You know what I mean? Got to take care of that humidity. Jeremy. Uh, right now I'm having my air conditioning checked, so oh. I'm making sure it's all good to go. It's a good good time to do that. So, uh, yeah, so some star storms uh, in the later part of the week. Uh, there could be a chance for severe weather again, so uh, we'll keep our eye on that for you, and uh, that will push through on Wednesday. Then the temperatures will drop a little bit uh, for mm. Thursday and Friday with highs in the 70s and 80s, so humidity levels will drop as well. So, Did you uh, get any rain up by you yesterday? Uh, you know, I went to bed, yeah. and uh, my wife stayed up for a while, and I came down this morning, and I was like, why is the deck all wet? And she's yeah. like, oh, it stormed. I was like, hmm. she said it lightning, thundered, rain. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I noticed, like, during the late evening, it rained for about 10 minutes where I was at, and then just done. Just done. Yeah. So, kind of nice. I enjoyed that. It was. But it, it was one of those where you thought, you know, it rained, and then the humidity would go away. It Not didn't. the case. The humidity was increasing. Not cool. Not cool, humidity. <laughs> Cheating the system. All right. Uh, the bike and uh, ped plan open house is coming up, Jeremy. And we've talked a little bit about how they're trying to kind of get citizen feedback on what they think they should do with the bike and ped plan. So they're going to be having their public open house and workshop uh, to help update this plan on July 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. at McKee Farms Park at the uh, Kids Crossing Shelter. So not the, the main building shelter that everyone's used to down at McKee, but the one that's closer to the playground. Uh, they'll be down there and they can, you know, people can come down, give some feedback, look at what the plans are. And there you go. And you can also go to Fitchburg bikepedplan.org if you want to see more details there. Yeah, we'll get Wade Thompson on the show. He's already agreed to come on and talk about it when All he right. gets a little bit closer. You trapped him. You locked him down. <laughs> locked him down. <laughs> All right. Uh, public hearing on the uh, council proposed amendments. Uh, the 2017-2021 capital improvement plan is coming to a town near you. No, it's coming on uh, tomorrow, July 12th. At a common council, 7.30 p.m. in the council chambers. They'll hold their public hearing at the Fitchburg City Hall. I already said that. Uh, and again, it's those proposed amendments. So uh, 
you know, the CIP was put out there by staff and mm -hmm. is presented to uh, council and then council gets to put in their amendments. So that's what you're going to be looking at. And then uh, after that, the next city council meeting will be the one where they approve everything. All right. So there you go. We will keep you up to date. All right. It is the week, Jeremy. We've been talking about it. It's time. Get your brush out there, folks. It's a brush collection week this week, so have all your brush out on the curb by 6.30 a.m. Hopefully you headed out there today. If not, get out there as soon as possible. And if they don't pick up your brush right away, they will be coming by. Just remember the maximum length is five feet and the maximum branch diameter is six inches. And then lay it in an orderly fashion perpendicular to the curb so they can pick it up easily. There you go. If you want some visuals, you can check online, but I saw it on Facebook, the City Fitchburg Facebook page. Oh. It has a pretty diagram of how you should lay those branches out. And I see when I was coming in today, uh, one street, like every single household had branches out. Hey, from they that must storm. be talking Fitchburg fans, you know? It's the same. I think between the storm and talking Fitchburg, mm, they got a lot of stuff <laughs> out there. So there you go. Uh, all right. Uh, how about the uh, Ellen Apartments ribbon cutting? That happens this week on Wednesday, July 13th. It's from 4 to 6 p.m. We're at Ellen Apartments, 6311 Cory Vista Drive, Fitchburg, Wisconsin. You know the zip cost is free. Come on down uh, and uh, see him come out with the big scissors and see these uh, luxury apartments. Yep. It sounds really pretty. I think they're also doing tours in there as well every half hour. That's cool. So people can check that out if they're interested. So this is a cool story, this next one. Uh, I saw that we kind of put it in later, but I like this one. Uh, there's some new hollow trees that have been given to the uh, Henry Vilas Zoo. Uh, so that they can be part of the, some of their new exhibits. You can see here, these hollowed out Jeez. logs. Uh, so I'm gonna read this here. This is from the Henry Vila Zoo Facebook uh, page. They say this, they said they're lucky to have great relationships with local arborists and they say thank you to the Dane County Parks for these awesome uh, hollow logs that some of their animals are going to love and use uh, as homes basically. So these particularly large hollow logs were saved for them. Uh, they used to be unsafe trees, so they chopped them down and they converted them to now be used here in the zoo. So kind of neat. Even those old trees they chopped down don't go to waste, Jeremy. They're using them. It is pretty cool. I like it. They are very hollow. No very about that. hollow, indeed. Uh, last but not least, uh, your committee and commission meetings uh, today, uh, or this week, I should say, rather. Uh, tonight, you got the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee kicks off at 530. Uh, they're doing some type of walking tour tonight. Oh, cool. So. Uh, they're meeting over at the Nine Springs Golf Course, so you can check that out. Uh, you got finance, uh, or what we like to call here Super Tuesday, finance, public safety, and common council. Mm -hmm. That's tomorrow the 12th. And as you said, council amendments for CIP. That's tomorrow night. And then on Thursday, Transportation and Transit Commission. Check it out. They'll be at the meeting room. So that's the week. Of course, you can find all these online. Front page. Front page. All right, coming up, we need to take a break. We're going to open up our old Fitchburg Digest and tell you about the Verona Road construction project, your update for the week. Stay tuned. Happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> 